So this is how I turn from a boy to a man. Just a few years ago, not long ago, I was going out the weekends, drinking beer, getting drunk every weekend, every other weekend or something like that. I didn't have a problem, but just, just what a lot of 20-something-year-old people do. Boys, okay? Um, I was also... To be honest, when I when I, when I, when I was with with girls or seeing girls or anything like that, I was led by my my emotions. So if a girl started to pull back, I would get anxious and I would be led by their actions. Right, I wasn't in control of my emotions as much. And different areas as well, like you know finances and things like that, I wasn't as in control. I let them control me. Right. And this isn't woo woo or anything like that. This is just solid, cold, hard facts from how I became a man from a boy, which I think a lot of people need to hear. There's a lot of sort of wokeness going on in the world at the moment where people assume that like there's like this, the difference between like the soft people and then the manosphere. Right. Whatever you want to call it, where it's like the manly guys are tell it, trying to tell the, the soft people to man. It. That's not what this is about. I don't you know, I don't, whatever. I don't care. Most people that are extreme, either for or against in anything in life, I've learned, tend to be the unreasonable ones, tend to be the ones that are. Neither of them are right. I tend to put myself quite firmly in the middle, I like to believe. You know, I don't like to label myself with anything. But the, the, the facts are, just a few years ago, I was vastly unfulfilled. I was romantically unable to find a match um, simply because I wasn't being the man that I should have been or could have been. OK, maybe not should have, because obviously everything's happened in its due time at the right time. I wasn't at that time the man that you know, I would expect a woman would want to be with. And that's just the truth. That's the truth that I see in myself. You know, I get that now. I understand why I wasn't quite ready. OK. With my business, with my finances, I wasn't as certain. I wasn't as certain in myself. And that certainty has created more finances for myself, more money and more aspirations, more dreams, more tangible results. I've managed to find myself in business and in life mentally, physically, I'm in a place that I never knew was possible. I, there's not a dream that I don't think is possible. There's not a goal that I don't think I can achieve. I've, I've taken myself from a boy to a man. I believe that I'm, much, I, I'm a much better son. I believe I'm a much better... I'm, I believe that I'm a great partner to my girlfriend. Um, and that's because I've, I've proved to myself time and time again that I can do stuff okay let me give you a few examples and I'll see you'll, you'll, you'll see what I mean the lack of certainty is what holds most people back the lack of certainty most people will say oh I want to start a business but and then there comes the uncertainty and they don't do it Oh, I'm sure I can find the girl that I love and the woman of my dreams, but blah, 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 blah. This story they're telling themselves. All girls in the past treated me like this. Oh, I'm not quite good enough. They're not going to think I'm good enough. They're going to think I'm ugly, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And all this stuff is just nonsense garbage that you've sort of built up and told yourself, okay? It's not nonsense. It's not garbage. I didn't mean to say that. It's, it's nonsense as in like, in reality, it's nonsense. It means nothing, but it's not nonsense to you because you've cultivated and created that belief. But how I became what I believe a man is a man compared to a boy was that I, I stopped allowing that uncertainty to control my life. I stopped allowing the uncertainty to control my life. And then on top of that, I gave myself evidence to prove that I was a man, to prove that I was good enough, to prove that I was more worthy than the creditations that I was giving myself, okay? As in not feeling confident enough, etc. When I was going out, I was making myself feel like I was less of a man than the person next to me when I'm absolutely not, and I know that now. I stopped allowing them to do that. So 
mentally I had to tell myself, of who, remind myself who I am, what I'm capable of, listen to the right podcast, listen to the right things, tell myself over and over again. But more importantly than that, the way that I managed to become a man and to actually stand up for myself, stand up for my goals, stand up for what I believe in and stand up to who I believe I am and and, and how good I am as a person and how I'm remem- reminding myself how worthy I am of relationships, of businesses, of good friendships and cut out anything that isn't what I'm worthy of was simply proving to myself in them certain areas that I am good enough. I had to prove to myself Evidence is what builds confidence. You can't just tell yourself your confidence. The evidence shows you and brings you the confidence. So what I started doing was going through different areas of my life. Okay, where do I live? Okay, I need to move out. Okay, business. Okay, I'm unconfident in that. Let's work on that as much as I possibly can until I prove to myself, oh, I'm earning another thousand pound a month. Oh, there's another thousand pound a month. And every time the increment goes up, the confidence builds in yourself and that lifts you up. It's, it's, it's essentially like people pulling up different bows, right? People pulling up different bows, bits of string and pulling you up a level, right? Every time they pull you up, it pulls your whole body up, even though it may just be uh, your personal living circumstances that you've changed and improved or may all become more self or, 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 or you become more self um What's the word I'm looking for? Where, you, where, where, where you're self-sufficient. You know, you're not living at home and you've pulled yourself over that area. That pulls your confidence up in yourself as a whole, even though it's just that one area. So that will pull it up in your relationship and in your business. This is what I believe. This is what happened to me. In my business, when I became more successful and started improving my income, took years. But when I did that, it pulled me up in my personal life. It pulled me up in my relationships life because I have more confidence. And then I started pushing myself out my comfort zone in fitness, in fitness and health. I started looking after myself more. I started pulling myself up in fitness, um, started lifting heavier weights, right? Whatever works for you. Now now I do boxing uh, lessons and I'm absolutely terrified of getting punched. But I'm pull, pulling myself up in that area because I know it's going to grow my confidence. Um, relationships, I started reading loads of books, learning about what I was doing wrong, why I wasn't the right partner before and why I kept getting burned. And that's because I was going after the wrong girls, the girls that didn't match my personality type. I was going after bad girls, if you like. Once I figured that out, I armed myself with that knowledge and then I pushed myself out of my comfort zone to meet more people, to go on holiday, to put myself in places where the right woman might be. I found the right woman. I found the right woman and she's absolutely amazing. I'm so, so grateful for her and she supports me and she doesn't ever make me feel anxious. And, you know, I I, I like to think I bring a lot of value to her as well in her life. For me, it was about pulling myself. And then once you've pulled yourself up to a certain level by gradually pulling yourself up in different areas, then all of a sudden you're in this whole new area, right? Where where now I just feel, you know, unstoppable as in like, uh, you know, I've given up alcohol. I, I, I used to smoke occasionally when I was out on the piss. I haven't done that for over a year, maybe a year and a half. I can't remember the last time I did that with the cigarettes. Um, you know, I'd never even think about touching that again. Same with the, the alcohol. I stopped that about four and a half months ago. The boxing, I've introduced boxing because I just want to push myself more. Um, my business is, I'm, I'm starting a new business and it's just growing and growing and growing at a higher rate. We're now thinking about even moving abroad to a different country and pushing ourselves out in that that area. And I'm helping the people that I love um, and and, and the people in my life to live a better life as well. And, you know, making sure I work hard to to, 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 so that they don't ever have to struggle. Right. Uh, And just building the life that I want for me and my family and hopefully helping others on the way too. being an example. And absolutely, I'm not a finished project but product obviously like i'm not a finished article here in five years time you won't recognize me but what i'm saying is i pulled myself up from a place that was fairly dark from a place that was fairly boring from a place that was the negative thoughts that i was telling myself 
and I was just letting like if I was seeing a girl and then all of a sudden she started being a bit cold on me I would let that emotionally drag me down sometimes for months I was just you don't want to be swayed around by girls by business by anything and I'm not saying it's easy and sometimes obviously I fall off in certain areas but generally to, I believe to hold yourself up to a higher standard you have to be working on each area of your life that you know that you need to improve so if your health and fitness isn't there start reading books on it get a personal trainer get a gym membership just go for runs something and promise yourself and hold that promise that you're going to improve that area of your life same with finances work relationships but whatever whatever it is travel whatever it is i started traveling a lot more as well i pushed myself out there and then once you've pulled up a certain amount, you're going to just catapult yourself to this new level and then another level and then another level. And that's how I became a man, I believe. Right. And that I just feel like a lot of people are stuck in this sort of bubble of anxiety and just holding themselves down with this like suppression, this area where they don't need to be because they're, they're, they, they, they've stopped caring. They've stopped putting in the effort to explore. They've stopped putting in the effort to push themselves mentally and physically. Obviously, it's not easy. If, every, you know, if it was easy, everyone would do it. You know, there's that saying, but it's so true. You know, did I want to get out for boxing the other day at 7.30 in the morning and going and punch bags for an hour and just quite honestly had the most tiring time I've ever had in my life no was it enjoyable no am I fucking glad I did it yes because it pushed me to a new level mentally that I didn't even know I was capable of doing um, I'm excited for the for, for, for the potential of getting in the ring and doing boxing matches and just r releasing this level of energy that I didn't know I had so I look at things as like do I want to do them? No. Is it worth it? Yes. Should I do it? Yes. Then you should do it. It's not, not everything's about enjoying. And I believe that's the difference between a boy and a man. You're not doing everything to enjoy it. You're doing it because you know it's the right thing to do. Make sure you like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.